Well, lunchtime is just around the corner, and we're checking out the menu at Butcher and Bird. Dallas on Tavares joins us live from the area with all the details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine and Ross. And here joining us on take two is our friend Chuck. Good morning. How's it going? Good morning. Very good. He is the owner and head butcher of the Butcher and Bird here at Salt at Arcacaco. And before we get into the tasty details and all the plans that you have, tell us what's happening today because you had to make 150 sandwiches. Is that right? That's right. So uh, we're going to have students coming down to okay. kind of talk to them a little bit about uh, you know business and entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and uh, just a little talk story with them. So we're Ooh. looking forward to that. Students from where? Kamehameha Schools. And they're right outside. They're out there waiting. And they're hungry. <laughs> we're going to feed them. <laughs> <laughs> 150 sandwiches with just some of the prime cuts. I mean, take it. tell us what we're seeing over here because this looks delicious. Yeah, so we do a lot of uh, processing in-house. So we're looking at some hot capicola, you know, kato salami and, and lomo. It's just different kind of cured meats and this is actually some molokai ven uh, venison that we've made kielbasa out of so you know we make all of our stuff in-house and then we end up with things like this italian combo we put it all together in a sandwich Ooh, that looks delicious now there's nothing like a sandwich after a beach day now today might not be the best beach day but don't you just love a sandwich either after or at the beach absolutely are you a person that puts chips in your sandwich all the time. Okay, cool. We all like that crunch, and this is something that you can enjoy it with. But, you know, this is really getting me hungry and also some ideas with Easter. You know people do that Easter ham. Absolutely. So we uh, cure our hams in-house. Mm -hmm. So we'll have plenty of uh, Easter hams. We're going to bring some in from Snake River Farms, which is a Kerbuda pork, really nice product, and, you know, some other items as well. Now, you don't do rabbits here, right? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> what about lamb? Lamb, absolutely, yeah, lamb leg and lamb rack. Okay, cool. Have people already been making orders or having questions about it already? Yeah, a couple have come in already, but we'll usually get a push this weekend through next week. And, you know, speaking of bunnies, there's actually something really cool happening at Solid Arcacaco for Easter. You want to share with that? Share that with us? Yeah, we got the bunny bash going on. Uh, bunny bash. Uh, yeah, on Easter mm -hmm. Sunday, you can come down and take a selfie with the, the Easter rabbit and, uh, you know, do some crafts and, and hang out and have a good time. Free parking, so, you know, if you're in and out in an hour, Come hang out and have a good time. Definitely fun for the Ohana. Um, where can people learn more more details about that? What time does that start? Uh, I believe it starts at 9 a.m. I'm not 100 percent sure. You got to check um, the Instagram. Website. Yeah, yeah Instagram. That's, that's where I get all the tasty details from, especially with all the different businesses here. Um, Bunny Bash coming up next weekend, like you mentioned. What about graduation, Mother's Day? Anything that you want to share with us on how to order something large like this? So, yeah, you go to our website, uh, butcherandbirdhawaii.com. Mm -hmm. We'll sell lots of steaks for Mother's Day. Uh, graduations, we do catering, so uh, for pickup, pans of smoked meats, you know, uh, ribs, brisket, chicken, that kind of stuff. Cool. Awesome. And then just taking a look at some of the menus. I know things aren't completely stuck just yet. What time do you all open this morning? 11 a.m. 11 a.m. And what are the must-try items here? Uh, the steaks are great, of course. Uh, I feel really great about our sausages. We make uh, sausage in-house, so cool. I'm always pushing those. Awesome. All right, cool. Anything else you want to share about the the butcher and bird, what you have going on? Anything that we need to know about? Um, I'm, we're doing lunch every day. We do great burgers. Our burgers are definitely a super popular item. We do all kinds of sandwiches. Um, we're just stoked to be down here and, and look forward to see everybody come out. Wonderful. What are the sides for those hamburgers and sandwiches, by the way? Uh, we do chips and pickles. comes with every sandwich. Uh, we focus on the quality of the meats and the cheeses and all the things that we put on there and you know, a little crunch and a little uh, acid with the pickles to go along with it. Okay. And then I noticed, too, over here on the side, some great products as well. Can you tell us a little bit about what you have to offer besides the foods? Yeah, we do uh, Meat Church Seasoning, which uh, we're the only retail location for Meat Church here from Texas. Really great product. Uh, we do some of the their seasoning blends. We do some of our own house seasoning. And of course, all kinds of merch and product, you know, hats and t-shirts. Wonderful. And then just being a part of this really tight community here in Kakako, especially at Salt at our Kakako, uh, tell us how's the experience been like so far, especially, you know, unfortunately we cover a lot of restaurants that do close down and have trouble keeping employees. Has that been an experience for you at all here? Uh, no, not so much. I mean, this is a great work environment. It's a yeah. fun place to come down to every day. That's always something new going on. So we've reached our employees pretty well you know we're facing the same challenges as as most businesses with uh, with inflated prices uh, which is tough to deal with there's the only way you can do is uh, to raise prices you know that's something you can't really pivot on you just got to adjust right so yeah. but we're happy to be down here and we keep doing our thing and we're excited every day 
Definitely. Okay, awesome. I just was curious because I know we've been talking, supporting local business all morning with that Made in Hawaii branding workshop happening in the Hawaii Convention Center, now making our way to Salt Vara Kakako, so it all connects really well. All right, well, this sandwich looks delicious. Thank you so much for your time today. If anyone wants to just see more information or how to make those orders, uh, what is the website and Instagram that you want to share? Uh, at Butcher and Bird for Instagram and then uh, butcherandbirdhawaii.com, H-I. All right, sweet. Well, this looks delicious. Reporting from at Saltadar Kakako, Dallas and Barrows, Cajun 2 News, working for Hawaii. Always looks good. Mm, and don't forget, Easter around the corner. Mm -hmm. All right, coming up next, raising autism awareness. We'll tell you about the local events happening this weekend that aims to do that straight up.